Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here, and today I'm going to show you how to use, well I should say, I'm using Dragon Professional. I'm using JAWS 2018. I'm using JSay Scripts. Now the reason why I'm not doing screen capture is because it takes a lot of graphics cards and I don't need one more program trying to capture and interfere with this. I'm already gonna tell you uh, it takes a lot of setup proper setup to do all of this together. And so I'm gonna tell you what I've got going. I've been uh, doing this for more than a week and every browser has its own little issues. So I'm just going to show Firefox today and what I've come up with. You need to use Quantum ESR. You have to use extensions on all your browsers. All the documentation is on Internet Explorer, but we already know that is not a secure browser because Microsoft hasn't supported it in years. So I would highly suggest not using that. So I have been using Firefox and Chrome. I've got both of them to work to uh, some degree. So I've worked out workarounds on these. I'm really gonna tell you that using at least the control key to hush up JAWS periodically is very advantageous. I'm sure I'll probably come up with more ideas, but this is what I have come up with the, thus far. Now the first thing I wanna show um, anybody who gives work to the students is you really need to figure out whether all this is text or not. And as I'm moving my mouse across this, you can see the four pointers. And the way you're really gonna know this, this is not text is just click on it. And you immediately see a box. So <clears throat> the TVI sent this to me and she said the student was having great difficulties and I, and I know why. But anyway, just know that this is not text. So what you'll wanna do is uh, just get rid of the picture because Jaws won't talk to you. He's just gonna say there's an object in your page and you just need to type this out. Now the rest of this is good, this is text. I'm just going to do a demonstration of how you go into the internet and how you find information. Now I am using a headset, I'm using Andrea. It does have a mute button, unfortunately I've also discovered that if you hit your mute, sometimes it can just turn off your mic. So I've come up with other um, different commands available. I'm using everything in my repertoire of, of knowledge to do this, so this does take quite a bit of training. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna be doing and Jaws is talking in my ear so you're not gonna be able to actually hear him. Uh, I will be hitting my control key periodically just to stop him from talking and I'm using the highest advanced mode. Now beginners are gonna need all that feedback. Uh, I've kind of already memorized what he's gonna to say to me so I'm just gonna be hitting the control and hushing him up. I've got the microphone, it is turned in uh, so it speaks to the corner of my mouth. It's about one inch, half inch to well, about three quarters of an inch from the corner of my mouth. So you understand that, that setup. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going with this. Wake up. Open Firefox. Physical Characteristics of Labrador Retrievers. Press Enter. Press Tab. Press Enter. Press Tab. Press Enter. Press F9. Press Control A, press Control C, press Windows 2, open new document, press Control V, top of document. Press down arrow, 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 
Press down arrow. Press down arrow. Press down arrow. Select line. Press Control C. Press Alt Tab. Press down arrow. Press down arrow. Press down arrow. Press down arrow. Press Control right arrow. Press Control right arrow. Press Control right arrow. Press Control right arrow. Press Control Shift right arrow. Press Control V. Down arrow. Press down arrow. Press down arrow. Press Control right arrow. Press Control right arrow. Press Alt Tab. Press down arrow. Press Home. Select Line. Press Control C. Press Alt Tab. Press Control Shift right arrow. Press Control V. Stop listening. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a matter of learning your commands. It is much easier to navigate around information if you go into reader mode in, uh, in Firefox. That's when you heard me say press F9. That is reader mode. So it takes all the distracting ads and information and gets rid of it and turns your page into straight text. Uh, and I've done it many different ways, and this is just the easiest way. So you just say, you know, select your whole page. You just copy it, and you're just pasting it uh, back into a new document just in case you weren't understanding all of those commands. That's what I was doing. And then, of course, it makes it really clean, the child just um, going down arrow one at a time because they may not have the physical strength to actually keep hitting that down arrow. And basically, the only key that I've really had to hit was the control key to uh, stop him from doing so much talking and so I could take better control of him. And I'm probably moving faster than most students will also. My guess is most uh, kids uh, will listen through it, but I'm thinking most kids, when they get more advanced, they don't want to listen to him gabbing all the time. So the student will just down arrow listen to the information they need. This was an animal research project, so the child needed to go online you of course need to dictate specifically uh, what you're looking for. So of course you wanna go over with the student what are good words to go ahead and do for a search. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the internet and I'm going to use some more commands just so you get an idea of the flexibility of this. Wake up. Open Firefox. Physical characteristics of a Labrador Retriever. Press Enter. Press Tab. Press Enter. Press Tab. Press Enter. Press Backspace. Select Heading. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Press Enter. Press Tab, press Enter. Press Tab, press Tab, press Tab, press Tab. Stop listening. Okay, so typically what we do when we get into the internet is we open up our headings list and we do that with insert F6, but instead you can say select heading. You can also do this with links. You can say select links and you can uh, go ahead and say press down to go through all your links. Also, you can do the same thing with insert F5 if you have to go to bullets or checkboxes or whatnot. 
Um, so it, there is a lot of flexibility here. Once again, uh, you need to make sure you have your extension on in this and I'm using Quantum ESR. It did take me a while to find the correct Firefox version that will work. And I've used several. This one seems to be the best one. The other extensions, they won't even load. You'll just try to load the extension. They'll say it won't do it. So that gives you more flexibility on it. Uh, I highly suggest you set your default to load on the Google page so your student's not struggling to uh, get to the search bar. Though you can say press Control E. And you may have noticed that that's my first word when I give a command. Um, so then the child actually doesn't have to force command language, which is very uh, typical for dictation. It needs to understand the difference between your commands and your speaking. You don't have to do that when you actually say press and then of course the words. Uh, okay, so I hope uh, you understood everything that went on and I'm actually hoping my camera was able to capture all of that for you. Thanks so much and we'll talk to you later in another lesson.